You know, it would really be the beginning of the of the Splatfest if it didn't start in Splatsville. But man, I thought I thought the that the uh, Splatoween and Frosty Fest went out with decorations, but this is actually looking really colorful and vibrant. I want to say this is like what the um the the Spring Fest, right? Anyway, hello everybody, it is me, your boy Retro64, not doing one of these typical Splatfest intros, because I'm going to at least change it up a little bit, you know, but man, oh man, this is actually really pretty, I have to say, this is actually really pretty, I am loving the vibes here, in terms of the colors anyway. Round one. Round one, anyways. I am trying to level up. Well, I get. I guess I really shouldn't sit. I guess kind of leveling up, but like leveling up the freshness of some of these weapons because, man, I have been like so far behind in getting all the weapons in the game. I know I started off with like 60 something and right now I'm down to like 20 something weapons left to get because I know if you like get to I want to say it's like one star freshness on weapons you get a Sheldon license and you need Sheldon licenses to get other weapons. I think you might also get them if um I think you might also get them if you level up. I'm just guessing on the whole level up thing, like in terms of like player level. But man, I have to say, doing this outside of a Splatfest has been super helpful. And I think I've been doing like one or two a night for like a month or so. Gotta say, it's really been making a difference, man. Because I like, I essentially have to balance this and work at the same time, so I don't have all the time in the world to essentially get good at the game. So, like, at least doing one or two a night, at least one or two weapons a night, is manageable at least. If only I can say that about actually getting better at the game, instead of just rushing in. Like, yeah, there there are some moments where rushing into, like, essentially... Essentially rushing into, like, enemy turf and trying to splat the opponents can help. But not all the time, you know? I fell off the side of the map! God, how many times does that that happen in a video? <laughs> ah, man. Also, please don't tell me this is gonna be another one of those cases where they just freaking spawn camp. Spawn camping's no fun. Like, it's not fun if you're on the receiving end of a spawn camp. And as someone who has participated in the act of spawn camping, it's not fun to do at all. Like, it makes it so boring, it's just, it's just like, how the frick are you supposed to enjoy Splatoon 3 in these kinds of situations, right? Like, am I reading too much into the situation? Uh, anyway, I think we've lost this. We've been in danger for most of that round. <laughs> Ugh, God, 27.3 on our side, and yeah, I could tell by the map, like even before the results, that it was just rough. Barnacle and Dime, it's a, definitely a map I haven't played all too much on. I think there was a, um... I want to say there was a tricolor map, at least a tricolor battle here during one of those flat fests, if I remember correctly. 
forget which one exactly, because there, there's been so many of them and just, man. I, I forget which map is going to be for the, like, the tricolor map here for this Blackfest. I want to say Mahi Mahi, but I, I don't know how to see what it actually is when when it's halftime. I think it's halftime when tricolors start becoming a thing. I do have to say, the option to make tricolor battles like a separate mode instead of it just randomly happening was such a nice change, honestly. Because like there's the option for um for open and pro turf war. Now that, that was definitely interesting to do, but also I could understand wanting to have like two separate versions of it. Keep in mind this is just my own personal take, because I remember it being like the whole tricolor mode being random and just almost never having it happen, so I couldn't, like, almost never got to enjoy it until they made it, like, a separate thing. Fast, I'm surprised I got that individual with the, uh, the Reef Slider. Uh, I thought for sure they would've tried to find a way to, like, either stop me or, like, swim out of the way or something, or I don't, I don't know. I have to say, these duelies are a lot nicer to use than whatever ones I was using before in the last round. I'm definitely not using these fizz things enough. Frick. Ugh. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, we've probably lost this, haven't we? I have definitely been getting decimated quite a good amount in these first few rounds, and it's not been making it fun. Like, yeah, I get it. I'm not gonna be able to win every single freaking round, but like, getting decimated round after round after round, especially with like starting off the Splash Fest is not a good note to start off a Splatfest, especially if you're tired and hungry and you had a rough day. It just makes the whole thing worse, you know? I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's been in a situation like that before, right? Oh, I thought for sure we would have had that! Oh, man! That was actually really close. That was actually really close of a match. I, I love that one, man. Ship Shape Cargo Co. You know, considering I've seen, like, ice sculptures up. Oh, wait, is that an Aurora Borealis in the background? Oh my god, like, like, you know how, like, it was starting off and, like, you're seeing the sky or whatever. Oh, that looks so pretty on this map! Oh my god, that actually looks really pretty! <laughs> and before I get a lot of crap for saying that, it looks pretty as a guy, but like... I, I do have to admire just... You know, nature. Like, whenever like there's like really, you know, pretty scenery. Like, even I have to admit what, like, when nature is like really pretty like that. Yeah, I, I know what I said. I know what I said, and now you want to stick by it until I end up staying awake until, you know, until 3 a.m. regretting my life decisions. I mean, what? Nothing. Nothing. You heard nothing. Do, uh, yeah, let's rip it now. Be fast, How did I get somebody like that? <laughs> what? How? How in the what? Where? How? In... Also, 
where was that other player I just recently splatted anyway? Like after the reef slider incident, just what is going on? Also, I haven't been seeing a lot of uh, like I know it's you know like Team Chick versus Team Bunny versus Team Bear. I imagine Team Bunnies is going to be very popular. I can't imagine why Team Bunnies would be popular. But like, I have not been seeing a lot of Team Chicks, and I chose Team Bear. Because bears... I don't know. Come on. Oh, I at least took him out with me. <laughs> I pulled an Andros. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Oh, can I just super jump? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got somebody. At least got somebody. Someone has been splatted. Alright. So, yeah, let's do it now. Uh, frick, I think they got out of the way just in time, but I got someone named Beanies. Okay. Alright, I'm just gonna move on from that. Hmm. I have a good feeling about this match, actually. Yeah, there we go, baby! That's what I like to see! That's what I like to see, baby! Yeah, I've had quite a few rounds where I've just gotten decimated, so being able to win feels so freaking satisfying. It's like, finally, I am in the game. I have one win. Ah, uh, satisfaction, baby. Trust me, it feels a lot more satisfying after getting just curb stomped every single round, or like a lot of rounds anyways. Yeah, I should get some food. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> 